Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a very natural makeup look just to show you guys how to do something very simple but glowy and glam. Hey guys! Nobody asked for you. <laughs> Anyways, I already finessed my brows a little but... I do want like I want my brows and my glow to pop so to speak so I'm gonna what I want to focus on in this look I want to be very glowy and I want my brows to be very full and um, luscious so I'm gonna comb it out a little bit more I'm gonna use this actually this brow pencil is a glamo brow I got this in my ipsy glam bag and um, I actually like it it's dark ash brown It's still, it's not moved. Nigga, calm down and do your face. Okay, that's enough. What I'm going to do now is clean up my brows. And I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Complete Coverage Concealer Palette. This is a very good concealer palette because it has a lot of colors. And this is um, medium. They do have different shaded palettes. And this is very cheap, guys. This is very cheap. So, if you guys want something like this, then you can go to e.l.f. and get it, and it's good for, like, concealers. I use it to clean up my brows. So, I'm going to be taking an, an, an angled brush like this. This brush is from no brand, so... But any brush that looks like this, they have these everywhere, even in e.l.f. You can use to clean up your brows. So, I like to take a lighter shade than my skin color. And I like to just carve my brows I start with the tail like that and don't worry I'm gonna blend it out and then I just pull it down so if you guys look at the difference between my brows one just looks like more bright and cleaned up and one just looks kind of messy. So I'm going to do that to the other eye really quickly. Okay, that's good enough for me. And I'm not doing um, much eyeshadow today. Nobody's really focusing on my eyes, just my lashes. So I'm just going to put some um, concealer on my eyelids because I do have um, oily lids. After a while, it gets super oily and it looks like I've been sweating. So what I like to do is put concealer on my lid and I take a fluffy brush like this. Then I take an eyeshadow color that's close to my skin tone. I might take this color right here. Anything that works. And I just coat the brush, hit it, and then set my lid. My eyelid, it doesn't look like there's anything there, but there is something there. And this is just to prevent my eyelid from getting um, super oily by uh, 11 in the night. Currently, it's 1.13 p.m. So I'm going to be wearing this makeup for at least 12 hours. At least. 10 to 12 hours. I'm pretty sure it's going to be 12. But, um... It's going to be a long night, so I just want to make sure that my makeup will last all night. And this is why, even though I'm not doing eyeshadow, I do want to set my lids. Now that that's done, I am going to move on to my face makeup. So I've already used primer and an illuminator. That's why I'm glowing, guys. That's why I'm glowing. This isn't natural. What I'm going to use first is my NYX Total Control NYX Total Control Drop Foundation and this is in shade huh. Oh, Nutmeg as you guys can see. So, this foundation I really love. I literally take one drop on my forehead, one on my cheek on the other cheek on my nose
I like a full coverage foundation. I don't believe in anything medium or less. <laughs> because I believe that if I'm gonna do makeup, why not just do makeup? I mean, yeah, there's some times when you want to do like a more natural thing, but I'd rather do full coverage and then share it out myself. But this brush actually, I have to name the brushes. This one, I actually know the name, it's from Sephora. It's a number 202 brush. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm not. I'm not satisfied with the coverage as you guys can obviously tell but I don't want to use this foundation anymore even though it is buildable I've had it for a while now and it's very buildable it's very beautiful but I'm gonna go in with my Mary Kay time wise luminous wear foundation this foundation right here is for normal or dry skin they do have a line for oily skin but I'm um, normal to dry so I use this foundation and it makes you look so dewy and glowy guys I really love this foundation and it has a yellow undertone <sighs> this is bronze one in the Mary Kay foundation and this foundation is light to medium coverage guys so that's why I like to use it on top of another foundation or I like to mix it with another one so I just put it in the areas that I feel I need more coverage. Now I'm going to blend it out with this brush. And I'm going to tell you guys why I use this instead of a beauty blender. Um, I'm not trying to waste a whole bottle on just my face once. Because my beauty blenders, even when I wet it, it soaks up so much product. And guys, we don't have a lot in this little foundation right here. So I like using a brush because it doesn't take soak up a lot of product and it pushes the foundation in and it leaves me with a beautiful finish. So I like to use a brush like this or a brush like this. But this one I love for foundation but sometimes I use it for powder which is what I'm going to do today. So I go um, between these two types of brushes and sometimes I, I, have a, I have a brush that's like a mixture of these two so it's like big and fluffy but it has this and guys it's so beautiful for blending out foundation so I press the foundation into my skin as opposed to dragging because pulling it across your face there's no coverage you're not getting anything out of it so I literally push it into my skin while moving around and this foundation, as I said, is like light coverage, so I don't expect it to be like, oh, I'm gonna block everything out. But I do expect it to leave me with a bit of something. And I just like how dewy, dewy it is. So blending this out is... it's amazing. As you guys can see, my forehead is like a little bit more covered than before. And it does look more dewy but I like that look I'm not too concerned about my cheek area because um, the places that I like to focus on is like my forehead my nose and my chin now what I'm gonna do next is take my concealer this one is the NYX HD studio concealer in the shade um, caramel this one's very affordable also so and also the NYX foundation it's affordable it's $14 and um, the Mary Kay foundation is $20 and there are cheaper um, ones like from drugstore that I like, but those are the ones I'm using today. The NYX concealer is $5 and I really love it. The shade is not too bright because I'm not going for a stark white under eye today. As I said, I wanted to do more on the simple side and I want a lot of coverage from this. This one, this concealer is one of my favorites right now because it's just so like I think it's a medium to full coverage concealer and it's very buildable so that's what I like to use as I said I don't use a beauty blender so I'm gonna use the um, other side of my brush if I don't use this I normally use a brush like this to blend out my under eyes because I don't know <laughs> so I'm gonna use this just to get into the corners as you guys can see it's very um, it's very good for that I'm pressing it into my skin whilst moving around then I go back into the bigger part and blend out the outer part of my concealer as you guys can see that's like a flawless finish right there and 
what else? Like, it's amazing. So as you guys can see, my under eyes are snatched. They're like snatched. I look like I got 15 hours of sleep. Can we just thank you? Thank you, Nyx. So I'm pushing this into my skin. And guys, it, I look full coverage. Even though I didn't use a lot of full coverage products, I look full coverage. And I love that look. I love looking like um, perfect with makeup no you can't forget your neck now now that that's done guys i like to set my under eyes and as usual i'm using my bh cosmetics uh palette and what shade do you think i'll be using for my under eyes guys i don't know just a little guess maybe this one um that's what i'm gonna be using for my under eyes today making sure it's creaseless and I'm going to be taking the Sephora 204 brush. It's double-ended. This is the highlight brush and this is the sculpting brush. But I like to use this brush for under my eyes. It's very fluffy and it disperses the product very good. Just tap it off because you don't want to look cakey. I don't know if you guys can see this, but... I look snatched. I'm, I'm so happy right now. And this brush is so good for this because it doesn't, it's very fluffy so it's like the product doesn't stick to one area. It literally gets everywhere. So I love it for that. Just putting this yellow powder everywhere that I would like to be lifted and highlighted. Next step is taking my um, setting powder. So this is the NYX Stay Matte but not flat foundation powder in the shade Chestnut. This is um, like my favorite powder right now. And I'm taking the BH Cosmetics number two brush. This brush is literally gold. I love it for foundation, liquid foundations, powder foundations. It's literally perfect for everything. I literally take this and I start, oh, it's wet, oh, I don't care. I start on the outer parts of my face, like my um, bronzing area, just to um, give myself a little bit of a bronze while doing so because this um, powder, it's like not my correct shade, it's more on, um, it's more on the more red darker side but I work with it you know so I start on the outer side and it's already get, giving my cheeks a little bit of a pinky brown color this NYX fa um, foundation powder is very pigmented I really love it and it's very affordable. I think it was like $10. Like, other powders are way more expensive. So, I really love that powder. And um, I set the perimeters of my face. I mean, that was kind of like bronzing, guys. Really wasn't anything much. And I like to take the leftover um, product and just go on the inner part of my face. Okay. Next, what I'm going to do is take the sculpting end of the brush, the 204 brush, and I'm going to go into my BH Cosmetics Contour Palette, and I'm going to take this shade right here, and sometimes this shade, and I'm going to blend it just to um, chisel out my face. When I do take this, I hit it just to knock off the excess, and then... What I'm going to do now is take that fluffy end that I used for under my eyes and I'm going to go into that shade, the light banana shade, and mix it with a little bit of brown and I'm going to literally put this underneath my contour. The reason why I'm doing this is so my contour can look more sculpted and snatched. And I don't leave it there to set because it will leave a really stark white line if I do that. So I put it there and I blend it out.
I realized if you guys can tell my eyelid it's already getting like kind of oily and moving around so what I'm gonna have to do is take that fluffy brush again and I'm gonna take um, a heavier powder my foundation powder and I'm gonna go over my lids with it Now that that's done, I'm going to go into highlighting. So I'm going to take this brush right here, and it's the Slim Miss Glam L36 brush. I love this brush so much. I mean, I love fan brushes for highlighting. It's my all-time favorite way to highlight fan brush. But I'm using this right now because my fan brush is currently unavailable to take our call. Oh, by the way, I'm using my Carly Bible palette from BH Cosmetics to highlight. And I usually take this shade <laughs> and a little bit of this shade just to highlight and give myself a little bit of a glow. This palette right here is very affordable also. It's, it's amazing, guys. You can go to Ulta to get this or you can go to bhcosmetics.com or Ulta.com to get this palette. And it's, it's, it's gold, guys. Look at that. One swipe and look at the glow. I like to take it down here so when I smile, it's shiny. Don't worry, I'm going to be blend this, blending this out with my powder brush eventually. Put a little bit on top of my brows because I did tell you guys I wanted a glowy look today. And there's going to be a lot of pictures, so I want to be glowing in all of my pictures. I'm going to take a little bit of the darkest shade and put it on my chin. Just a little. Okay, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take a smaller brush. What brush, what brush, what brush? Okay, I'm, I guess I'll just take this Mary Kay brush. It's um, a blending brush. It doesn't have a number, but it's a Mary Kay brush that looks like this and it feels amazing. And I'm gonna take uh, the second highlight shade and I'm gonna go under my brow. Ooh, baby. So after all is done, I'm going to take my foundation brush and I'm going to press uh, I'm gonna press the, oh my god, where is this coming from? The bottom part of the highlight into my skin, just so it can look a little bit more diffused. Now that that's done, I'm going to take my Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe, Herbs, and Rose Water. This spray is very nice. It brushes your face. It, it's just, it's amazing. So, you can get this at Ulta or online at Ulta.com. Or, I think you can get it from, I can't remember where else, but that's where I get it from. You can get this, the smaller bottle, for $7. I'm not sure how much this one is, but let's get it. Then I'm gonna do this. The next step, guys, is lashes. So I'm gonna take my Elf Winged and Bowl Lux Lash Kit. Yeah, um, I actually like these lashes, guys, and they're so affordable. I think they were like three dollars at Elf. But I'm gonna wear them today. I was gonna do Eyelore today, but they're, the band is really thick, and I I just didn't feel like fighting today. I don't want to fight. Today we're loving. So I'm going to use my I Envy by Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive Glue with aloe in it. And I'm going to put a very thin line on the lashes. Very thin. This is how thin you want it to be. You don't want a lot. I'm going to bend it while it dries a little. And a lot of people wait till it gets tacky, but I'm just too impatient. So I like to tilt my mirror like that at an angle. And then I get my lash, look down, and then I just put it on and fit it.
I think I think that's that's on there. That's good. And I'm gonna do the other one really quickly. Okay, now that my lashes are on and drying, I'm gonna take this little um what brand is this? Ico London. I got this in my Ipsy Glam bag and I actually like it. It's um Lash Alert Mascara Wake Up and Go. It's very tiny and cute. So I'm going to take these from my bottom lashes. So I'm going to take my Monsieur Big Lancome Mascara and I'm going to go over what I just did because I like very dark clumpy lashes. Okay, now what I'm going to do is go back over my brows because after all the powder and everything, I feel like my brows need some more attention. I don't really like matte anymore, so I'm going to be using my Avon Ultra Glazewear Lip Gloss, and this is in Mocha Latte. This is it for now, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Anyways, bye, guys. <laughs>